Hello there, good afternoon in my end, and uh, welcome to another PSD tour. And this time it's the, uh, uh, a, an artwork that I did, a colored job that I did in, uh, in last year. But it, it's also, it's, it's only, you know, a practice work, but, you know, I have to, you know, uh, stretch my, <laughs> my hands and my skills for a bit and I took a better uh, stab at this. Uh, cover right here. Uh, it was made by Joey Vasquez uh, from Sp for a Spider-Man uh, cover f what he did in the comics. So this is the black and white and this is the final work that I made. And the other is the original and the color. So I'm gonna uh, give you my thought process back then because this was a last year, a last Year project that I did just for for me and just for you know like I said for practice and stuff and how I you know got to those conclusions and you know uh, it always starts off you know for me uh, the flats like start it was so simple but also where to identify where to flatten where to highlight so for me I started back in the day it was start right here the flats and also I think I made right here in the webs background and go this right here and also this right here it feels like I need to do some uh, do some what foreground shadowing like, it, because it feels like you know when I look at this stuff right here it felt like yeah, this is a kind of sort, sort of like a frame so I did that and started you know to do the uh, background it was not that much because it's a, when you take it all, all all of this stuff, it was basically all white. And so I put a little gray, little gray here and there, and started building it up. And then uh, put it this way. Well, there's a little uh, sketch right, uh, flatting area right here. And what I did, I I still remember this. And I think for me was that I have an idea on what I really really want. So, by the way, I have to turn off the texture because I did put some textures here and also another texture. But this, and for me, it was a start of how do I approach this? And also, since I think there was a very darker, a darker, uh, darker shadow here. So I did, and I remember, I did lay down uh, basically you know, an overlay. Basically, uh, an overlay channel set to normal and started you know doing this actually I started doing the highlights right here it's already there uh, just formation uh, forming the light source uh, the light source down here just to you know, like I said compare contrast of the original of right here so I started to do that make my own uh, my own sculpts so also on top, on um, below of this layer right here, I made a shadow layer. So there's a little bit of bounce like because I remember because this also in the in the original is there was all blue light and I didn't I know in a way that I didn't like it because it, everything was so blue. I want something that could actually legit read the whole thing, the amazing the whole amazing Spider-Man here. So for me, I need to. To uh, highlight this word right here, but also keep the, the uh, blues. So uh, start that, and uh, I, I it tend to overlap here and there, and then uh, put a little orange here. And I remember this was it was way too red for me for my taste. I add a little bit of oranges, so I start doing that, and also uh, and I remember. A little bit of highlight we go it was still flat and I think I double checked it with a, uh, a black and white uh, adjustment layer just to make sure that there is still a highlight and then um, and then it was a process of how do I make this look good so I started you know putting all of the spider-man stuff right here the, the basic of the glow and the outline of this and then I think I have this I think it, this is basically 
Oh yeah, the, the webs, <laughs> because you, you did not see the webs right here. And, and I had to follow this right here to make it work. So I did put the glow here. And then... Then I started to do the special effects. This is where the final ends, and I'll break it down to you. And why my thought process went there. So for me, you go, okay, the naming of the, the Amazing Spider-Man logo has to be this. It's I think I put the outer glow here. I'm gonna put it right here. I think this was my initial thought, and I go, okay, how do I adjust this bastard? So I think it was the spread and also the size of the spread as well. You can see it. So I need to reset back. And then it starts to slowly make sure. And I, I think I just swap here, back here and there. And then the, uh, the whole black and the webs here. And I start to lay it down all small because, again, trying to, trying to mimic the original, but also keeping uh, having my little old spin of this. And I think I missed a spot right here. I <laughs> go, damn. <laughs> but, what's a, like I said, it was a really fun process to do because you can very, very see everything. What I've done. Started, you know, I think, I don't remember this. Oh, okay, okay, I remember. I think this was a very small glow. You didn't see it properly. It's right here. You have to... There's a little bit of bluish glow in this corner right here. And I go, did I put something there? I go, no, nope. yeah, I, I know. I remember it because I really put it some certain glow because it was so weird to look down here. So I started doing that and also started to do the actual glow. And I, I think I remember on how the, I did it. And I, you know, uh, control click here and then select, modify, expand. I think it was within the three to eight. It was big. It was an expanded selection of the pixels around eight, and then if I remember correctly, I used lasso to refine the edge, you know, and tend to feather this. And you can see the the feather mask here, and that's the reason I got the glow. And you know. Paint it over either using either I think it was the uh, the gradient tool that I made or is it the uh, the the brush tool? But I tend to use the gradient because it's actually legit. You, know, you can pinpoint where to glow, and that's the beauty of the if you do it in the gradient. And then you set this into radial effect, and there's real, but the effect of the radiant would be it was so very intense on the center, and there's also when when you're in that selection mode, it, you can have that uh, weird effect of dithering lines, and it's so weird. So I, for, and now okay, now I remember that I actually use a brush tool so that it's far more even to distribute all the glows here, and also included right here. And then I actually uh, did this as well. Is to have a and 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 also this is where I actually put the uh, glow of the amazing Spider-Man line. And I was and back in the day, I think back in the last year, when I thought of it, I go, huh? <laughs> it, it was so missing. I just look at the original and the colored version and go, huh? There's something in there, and I tried to zoom it in. There was an, also a texture. So I did that, and this is the reason why there's a texture in my Spider-Man line because it captured every line art here. And if you look at even more closer, you can have the the uh, the texture of the of a Zipatone line of a Zipatone. So for me, that was a decision I made, and I think I posted in the final put this right here. But however, there's another. I think I, I really want to add more to it is the uh, the heavy texture liner, it, it, the heavy texture soft light, and this was I was set into the twenty percent model. I I think I went too far in the twenty percent or and uh. I just accidentally 
like every uh, deleted everything. I go, oh shit. But uh, this is the whole final product that right here. And uh, yeah, I, it was the 20% that made it work and made it the final effect right here. No, what you're seeing. And you can actually, I will put the links of my uh, actual portfolio, my art station account in the description so you can see it in all my previous works. Hopefully I could do more, a lot of the PSD uh, uh, commentary on, on why I did most of these things so that uh, I could explain what was my behind process of those uh, ideas. So yeah, uh, this is the final. Also, this is the black and white version of the piece. It's already final. I, I actually like this, but also I made the comparison. It was so it was so fun to do, but I <laughs> and I think I forgot how to uh, put gloves in the spider right over here to match right here, but also forgot to color the spider over here. I was so enamored of my own dumbass work that I forgot the miniature spiders and I fucking highlight the other one. Uh, <laughs> but oh well. It was a minute mistake, but this was a fun practice that I ever did. So uh, I'll see you in the next uh, PSD tour.